I hope you're having an awesome day so far. I'm Maddie. I thought I would show you some of my December soap challenge soaps. I made three attempts for the December challenge, uh, but all of them were themed for February Valentine's Day because that's when they would be done curing. So they'd be ready to sell around Valentine's Day. So that's why I did a Valentine's theme. Uh, the first video that I showed, the first soap that I showed was my last video. And it was the soap that I submitted for the challenge to be judged. And this is my failed attempt at the soap challenge. It came out really good for a Valentine's soap and really, really good for a peppermint soap. But it wasn't a good lollipop swirl, so I wasn't super happy with it. But I thought it would I would show y'all because it's just past Valentine's Day. Happy late Valentine's Day. And it's going to make an awesome Valentine's soap. Alright, so this is my lye water and oil solution. This is the mold that I'm going to be using. It's just a reused Pringles can. Uh, I cut the bottom off and I'm going to be using the bottom as my top. And then I have the actual bottom, or the actual top here. I have saran wrap on the outside and a hair tie to hold it all together and then the actual lid that it came with. And then on the inside I have a wax paper lined on the inside so that it's a little easier to unstick from the mold. It doesn't stick from the stick onto the can of Pringles. I'm going to be putting, before I pour it into this, that way I can hopefully throw some towels on top of it and keep it kind of, help it gel a little bit. That's my hope. If not, I don't think it's a huge deal, but these colors do look a lot better when they're gelled instead of just regular. I don't want it super thick for this because it's a little bit of a time-consuming swirl, time-consuming thing. So I want it to be, everyone suggests that it's just at emulsion or just past emulsion. You don't want even any kind of a trace on it, which, well, let me make sure, yeah, this doesn't have any kind of a trace. And it looks like my batter is sticking together as well. So it's completely emulsified and put all together. So now I'm going to add the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil that I'm using is going to be Daisy Chain from Brambleberry. It's kind of a floral sweet scent. I was indecisive. I was kind of tied between Daisy Chain and da Jasmine Dreams, which is also from Brambleberry. But my sweetness said that he liked Daisy Chain better because it's a little bit sweet. And I already checked that this fragrance does not accelerate and it also does not discolor. That was a really big thing for this soap. I did not want a fragrance that discolored. So something with a relatively lower vanilla level or vanillin level is what I was going for. I wanted to at first do white in this soap, but I decided not to. So I have 1.3 ounces of Daisy Chain fragrance oil in this, and I'm going to mix it up by hand as best I can. I do not want to use my stick blender any more than I need to. I'm already going to be using a like mini whisker, mini stick blender for the colorants, for these two colorants. So I really don't want this to get thick. Really don't want this to get thick hardly at all. And I'll be checking the trace throughout working with it to make sure that it hasn't started to get a thick trace yet. So I kind of messed up. I tried something new and it kind of messed me up. I have already the colorants in these two smaller pictures. This one is the red and this one is the pink. Um, and that kind of messed me up because now if I pour too much soap into these I can't pour it back in so I'm going to use this container to pour soap in Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so I have in these two smaller containers, I have nine ounces even, and in this bigger one, which is gonna be my purple, I have like 11 and a half to 12 ounces. And I wanted the purple to be a little bit bigger. The color scheme that I'm kind of working on, that I'm thinking of, is gonna be pink, purple, red, purple. I'm hoping that's not too much color. I'm kind of hoping it's not. Should I do purple or white, Lizard? Huh? Alright, so this is actually going to be white. I was going to do purple, but now I'm going to do white. And this is my titanium dioxide. Uh, I don't need a super lot. This measurement that I'm using is one, is half a teaspoon. But I only need, uh, this is half a tablespoon, but I only need half a teaspoon or so. So I'm hoping that that's enough white. If not, I can always add some more later. Alright, so I'm going to start by mixing these up. And I'm going to be using this little mini whisker that I've had for just a short while. I've used it once or twice to mix the colorants all together in all of these. I have to be a little bit careful with these smaller ones because this is a little bit more fatter than I thought it would be in these cups, but I'll think I'll, I think I'll be okay since I'm using this little thing. It won't disturb the soap terribly much. And I added to these containers first the mica that I was using and diluted it in these containers. Whereas I normally have it in a separate container that I dilute it in and then pour it into my soap. But I did it just a little bit different this time. Hopefully it doesn't cause too many problems. Hopefully. Okay, it's still at a pretty light trace. It is starting to trace, however, so... I'll need to work kind of fast. Since I've already diluted my titanium dioxide, I have it diluted in water. I don't need to worry about stick blending or mixing this super thoroughly the way I do these two micas that, even though I diluted them, they were still kind of solid, which I'll have to work on a little. Uh, my titanium dioxide is completely distilled in water all the way, so. I think I will start with the white, and then the red, white, and pink. I kind of don't want the red and the pink to touch, partly because they're kind of, you might be able to tell, the same shade almost. They're very similar to each other, which is part of the reason I want the soap to go through gel phase. That way, the red will be a really vibrant red, and the pink will be really vibrant pink, because the pink I'm using is Pink Vibrance from Nurture Soap. So I'm hoping that this goes over well. That is what I'm hoping. And I don't think that they're quite as thick as I am thinking that they are and seeing that they are. Just because all three of these are, of course, the same batch. And the white is pretty thin. So I think it's just because I have these in such a small container that they look really thick. I'm hoping that that is the case. So I'll do white and red first, that way I can see just how thick these two are. What I want to do, and hopefully it doesn't leak a whole lot, hopefully, what I want to do is pour it off the side so that it runs down the side of the canister, and then turn it and put it on a different side for each pour. That way it'll make the lollipop swirl and look like I'm not just dumping 
soap on top of soap. Let's see here. I can definitely tell that it got way too thick because of the way that it is not settling on the sides. I can tell it's way too thick because on the inside it's kind of just plopping. Instead of running down the sides, it's just kind of staying there. You can kind of see on this outside. I'm sure in the beginning it kind of ran down a lot faster compared to this stuff that just kind of stayed where it was. So that's how I can tell that it's way too thick. I'm gonna try to clean it up on the outside so I can put a towel over it because I would like to gel it still. And then after that I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, I'm not feeling super confident about this try, but it's my first try. I've never done a lollipop swirl before, so brand new territory. And I also think that the wax paper that I put on the inside that I lined it with wasn't quite big enough. I had those gaps in between the outside of the canister and where the paper starts, the wax paper starts, so I think that had an issue. Napkin on the very top, and I'm going to cover it, throw a towel on top of it. We'll see what happens tomorrow when I cut it, what it looks like. I'm not super confident, but I will hold absolute judgment until tomorrow when I see the inside of it. It's been more than 24 hours, and it is time to unmold and cut up my soap, or try to unmold my soap and then cut it up. I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to come out out of the tube. I'm also not entirely sure how well it'll come out as a soap when I cut it open. I did line the Pringles can with freezer paper, but it looks like it leaked a little bit. So, let's just throw that in the sink. Oh, okay, that came out really easy. Never mind. Hey, that was super easy. That was super easy. Okay. And now you can see where it kind of fell in the inside of this liner a couple of places. It's still kind of soft. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. Alright, let's do it at two and a half. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. 
It's super soft, okay. Okay, not terrible. Not super terrible. the next one and that's when it started to get really thick and didn't quite make the swirl. Still pretty alright, pretty okay-ish, but I'll definitely be doing another batch. But I think these are still pretty good Valentine's soaps. It's a little hard. So at the end of that, while I was cutting, I was thinking really hard about my next batch. That's why I didn't say anything, and it cut off really abruptly, it seems. But these are the soaps that came out. This is how they came out. And they are really good Valentine soaps. I think they would have made better Christmas soaps and peppermints. I think they look really good. I've gotten several comments about them looking like peppermints. Um... They smell super duper good. The Daisy Chain was a really good choice. Um, Baby's Breath has been a really popular fragrance for me. So I thought I would try Daisy Chain because it's a little bit more sweet than Baby's Breath. But it's still the same line. It's an imitation of a different perfume in the same line as the Baby's Breath perfume is an imitation of. And I was a little bit anxious about these soaps because... The goal of the December challenge was a lollipop swirl, so just as an idea, this is kind of what I was going for. And then this is what I actually got. So they are really good Valentine soaps. The color scheme is really nice. They smell beautiful. They smell awesome. It's just not what I was going for at the time. So I was a little bit just disappointed at first, but they're beautiful soaps. They're awesome. I'm definitely going to be doing this method again. Both of these, I'll be doing it correctly again as well, but I'll definitely be doing this again with the thicker soap batter for Christmas time because I really do think they make an awesome, like, candied apple, candied pumpkin, or peppermint fragrance soap. They'd be perfect for Christmas time. They look awesome. And they look like little peppermints, little hard candies. So all three of these soaps, these are the two that I submitted. Oops. These are the two that I submitted. This one is Romeo. And this one is Juliet. And then this is the other soap. And all three of these are up on my Etsy shop. You can buy them individually. You can buy them individually by themselves or in a basket all together with uh, lotion, two lip balms, and a body butter. I have a little basket for every season. I'm going to start doing one for almost every holiday and every season. And you can get a soap, a Valentine's soap that smells super duper good. And a lotion and some lip balms because everyone needs lip balms. And some body butter. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye!